Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, coming to you live from the Seattle basement. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I, first of all, I would like to send a huge, I'm, I'm sending a bouquet of flowers via Pearlocopter to all the people that have subscribed to my Patreon in the past week or two. It, thank you. It helps a lot too. That support helps a lot. It allows me to be able to keep on doing this fine programming. I don't actually bet on games because I don't know why it's voodoo when I do. It, I don't make money. And I've tried it many a time. And I know you're probably all rolling your eyes going, yeah, right. No, really, it's true. If you ask people close to me, they'll tell you. You can't do it. That's why I do this. I send you the information for free. And uh, if you have a little extra scratch, you can help me out at Patreon. That helps out so I can keep on doing it. And I'm really thankful for you guys. Also, uh, I'm going to be giving, don't leave now, you people looking for your quick picks. They're coming. First five minutes. I always do it. I got, I'm three away from subscribing right now for 700 for subscribers right now. So go in there and be, you can be the 700th subscriber and then put it down in the comment section. Also, we got some new swag. So when you subscribe, if you want a Pearl of Wisdom necklace, a uh, ring o Pearl or a Pearl's, Pearl's bracelet, Pearl bracelet, one of those three things. Uh, tell me in the comment section when you, which one you want, and I'll get Hernandez or Melissa to Pearl O'Copt it right to your door with the flowers, the bouquet of flowers, too. Because everybody loves a bouquet of flowers, right? Um, so, last night, somebody, there's somebody I know, uh, somebody I know really, really well, is going to the um, Perlo's house of spanking tomorrow. Do you have any idea who it is? It's me. Yes, it's me. Sometimes you just got to do that every once in a while because, and we'll get into it, we'll get into why. So get out your compasses, go get your uh, protractors and that, that thing, you know that one where you, you bought and you never knew how, what it was for and you go, you put your pen in there and then you go, like that you know that one get that out too yeah do it we we sasha oh my gosh you're doing that perfect see how you could we we a little bit like that not woo no we 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 you, you work on that a little bit need a little help okay sasha sasha goes to he lists he's always at my uh show three till five eastern here on for steel flyers all sports network we do it daily five days a week monday to friday check it out sasha does yep does too okay picks for tomorrow right here picks for tomorrow right here tell me in the comment section how your picks were yesterday and what are your picking but here's our picks for tomorrow Jets ML under six and a half. Okay, this is for all the quick people that need to get it done and they got stuff to do. They don't have time for all of it. Flyers ML over six. And that you you would if you had time, you could learn why that may not be the case tomorrow. I, I'm really unsure about that play. Avalanche reg over five and a half. Vegas and reg over five and a half. Wild ML over five and a half. And you know what? I think that Vegas play, that might change too. That's going to be a goaltending thing. So Canvas ML, I mean, what the heck? I can't, Canucks. I can't even, my writing is horrible. I can't even read, Canvas. Who the heck is Canvas? The Vancouver Canvas. ML. Under six, off with you now. Go do your things. Go flutter about wherever you got to flutter. Get your flutter on out there in the land if you got to go. You really should, should organize your time better to get this whole experience in. But uh, 
Okay, let's get to the shenanigans that happened on the 30th of March right now. Okay, let's start off with the Oilers and Canadians. Um, if you watched my video last night, and I am positive that you must have, because who doesn't watch my videos? Everybody watches videos, right? You would know that I actually took the Canadians last night. And then I woke up this morning and found out, and realized that the Canadians hadn't played in 10 games. And I figured that they would be rusty. Now, I ended up taking the Canadians. Now, if you also watched my video last night, I also took the over. However, when I found out, realized that the Canadians were going to be rusty, I also thought that they would probably not score that much. And the Oilers were on a back-to-back, -back, so they were already tired. Rusty team, tired team, usually equals under, so I took the under, which was great because it was a wash. It's so not too bad. As far as the day goes so far, we're okay. It's okay. What I learned from that is um, I wonder, Price had a really good day, one good game, one of the few good games he's had all year. I was starting to think that maybe he might be injured, and having 10 games to recover, maybe he's not anymore. So we're going to keep that up there in the, in the learnings, in the thinkings. Okay. All right. Uh, Bruins versus Devils. I had Bruins in regulation. And I had the under. And I had it for a lot of money. And what did I learn from this game? Well, not much, really. Because the trend said under, but it also said the Devils were probably a good pick here. I thought with Marshawn coming back and Carlo back in the lineup for the on defense, the Bruins should have enough to win this game and plenty of motivation to do so. I didn't get a chance to watch a lot of the game. Maybe in the comments section, tell me what you thought about how the Bruins played and all of that. Um, did, what was the shots? Uh, the Bruins did outplay them. So Blackwood went a little crazy. Uh, I was a little worried about that because Blackwood is playing a lot better, but I really thought the Bruins would take that one. But they didn't. Okay. So that's down. We're down like eight units <laughs> on one play. Don't you hate it when that happens? Uh, Rangers and the Capitals. Uh, again, last night you would find when I did the video, I had the Capitals. I changed it to the Rangers during the day, which is great. But I also had the over last night, and I changed it to the under. Because, oh, that's... Because Samsonov was supposed to be in net. If Vanacek was going to be in net, I was going to take the over, but I didn't catch it in time. And Vanacek was in net, and that ticked me off. Or I would have had the Rangers and the over. But as it turns out, I was up a little bit with the the money with the uh, money line on the Rangers. Another thing I learned about this thought is I need to trust myself a little more with plays that I really like on dogs, because I really was thinking about going in reg on this game. I could have got some extra juice. Blue Jackets versus Lightning. Uh, the this was I would have made this all day. The only thing. I'm going to maybe finally realize is that the Blue Jackets have the Lightning number. They just seem to. Every time they play the Lightning, almost, it seems. I just thought the Blue Jackets just lost twice to Detroit, looked terrible doing it against Pickard. Pickard, who played in the next game and got shellacked. A third-string goaltender that has hardly played in the NHL his whole career. Uh, and then come up against the Lightning. Now, they did put McElhaney in late. So I was like, okay, I still think the Lightning will win. I bring it down to in reg instead of puck line. And then I'm all over the over. Because McElhaney sucks. He's really bad. 
and the Lightning should be able to score a lot. What happened was the Lightning outplayed the Blue Jackets and Merzlikens went off. Anyways, I probably make that play all day, all the time. However, I've really got to take into consideration next time that they're playing the Blue Jackets too. If I'm going to take the Lightning, don't bet large because we lost a lot on this. We lost a lot. Um, so we're down like, what did I say? Were we down eight units? Now we're down uh Oh, I went down to medium pearls. So we're down 16 units. Oh my gosh. We had uh the the Red Wings PL here missed it and the over. So we're down like 17 units. Uh what did I learn from that game? The Panthers kick ass and just because the Red Wings beat Columbus twice doesn't mean it's going to this was there was a lot to the with this game. I said in my video that the Panthers are going to come out hard playing for Ekblad. So why didn't I stick to it? Because they were also going to be without Barkov, Hornquist, and Ekblad. So then Grice was in net. Bobrovsky was in net for the Panthers. Both of them are having horrible years. Felt like an over and the wings would keep it close. I was wrong. Uh, Hurricanes versus Blackhawks. We had the under here, thank God. Uh, what are we down? 17 units. Uh, that brings us, we had a little bit on the Hurricanes to win. That brings us to 16 units down. Is that right? Am I right about that? Let me think. I have five. And, oh no. Medium five and two on the seven units and we have five and no 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 sorry i didn't bet large on this whoo that's right something was amiss there we had the rangers but only but for one unit so i didn't lose i haven't lost 17 units whoo jeez i was scaring myself there i lost eight here we gained the rangers we had ml which actually brought us up a unit, so we're down seven, not 17, seven. Uh, that's right. And then this, oh yeah, this was the one. This was five units and three. Yeah, 14 units, oh my gosh. Then um, this one put us down again. Yeah, 15 units, horrible. Uh, that brought us to 13 units. What I learned about this game? Nothing. Hurricane should have won the game. Lankanen is insane. They totally outplayed the Blackhawks, outshot them in every way. Lankanen is Lankanen right now is, as far as I'm concerned, should get the Vesna already. Maybe if you give him the Vesna, he's got to get Rookie of the Year too. Like pretty much. He absolutely stole that game. We got her back a bit here. This was the one we had. Two and a half units on the Stars, and or so on the Predators, and two and a half units on the Under. So we ended up getting about five units back there. So we're down nine units. Nine, eight or nine units. We also had two. Oh, that's what it was. We were down eight units, but we had Andreescu in tennis for three times our money. So that put us to five units. And we had a half a unit <coughs> on another tennis play. So four and a half units were down. That's not too bad. This saved our butt. Otherwise, it would have been just a absolute slaughter. Okay. What did I learn from the, that game? No, it was great. Nashville is just flowing, man. Stars can't hold a lead. The Stars are holding their stick tight, and they outplayed the Predators, but the Predators are playing loose. They're really playing like they believe in themselves, and they're never out of it. So, Okay, games for tonight. Let's go talk about them tomorrow night for the 31st. Winnipeg versus Toronto. Winnipeg, it's their first game back after a long road trip, and I do not like playing teams on a first game back from a long road trip, except Toronto just flew to Winnipeg, after playing the Oilers, a tough game against the Oilers, they fly to Winnipeg, and Winnipeg is just crushing it all day long. They're, 
they're going against the odds quite a bit here. I like Winnipeg at home with the plus money. Uh, I'm going to take it on the ML. And with Hollabuck, he's just playing so well. I think it's six and a half. I'm going to go under six and a half. Philadelphia versus Buffalo. This is Buff Philadelphia is on Buffalo is on a back to back here. The first part of a back to back. They could feasibly put Tukarski in here because Philadelphia. They could think that Philadelphia is a weaker competition compared to the Rangers, who just beat the Washington Capitals. However, because they've lost 18 in a row, I think they're probably going to put Allmark in here. I am. Uh, Philadelphia will put Elliott in. They're not going back to Carter for a bit. He's got. He's got to figure things out a little bit. Practice, work hard, get his game back. That's what AB is saying. I'm taking Philadelphia ML, but I'm not putting lots on it. And I'm probably going to go the over because their defense is so bad. But they can score. It, the, the, to, the, the, the total is six. But I'm not huge on that either. I won't be putting a lot on that game, I don't think. The last time I took Buffalo PL and it came through. I just have a feeling that this that Philadelphia is going to really come out strong here after almost losing last time. That taste in their mouth of almost losing to the Buffalo Sabres will motivate them to crush in this game, I think. But I can't trust the Philadelphia Flyers right now, so I'm not putting a crap load on it. Colorado versus Arizona. I'm taking Colorado here for sure. It's got to be in reg, and it may be puck line. Going again, Colorado is playing incredible right now. Arizona's been out for a while and uh, have been off for a bit. I think they could be a little bit tired here, uh, a little bit rusty too on top of it. They're going to work hard, but the way Colorado's playing, I just can't see Arizona winning. So I'm going to go Colorado, possibly puck line. What's the puck line on that? Whoops, money line. And I'm going to go over as well. They're just, the offense is just too good. I want the spread. That's what I'm looking for. 205, 188, 189. Not bad. I don't know. Arizona can surprise sometimes. I'll, I may just be, after taking a loss like I did, I may take the cautious side and just take the money and get back so we're up again this week. I haven't had a losing week this year. Haven't had a losing week this year. So, and I don't want to start now. <laughs> uh, Los Angeles versus Vegas. I'm going to take Vegas for now. Uh, again, I believe Vegas is on the, this should be Flurry in here. Flurry will probably be playing against Peterson. Now, Vegas can crush any goaltender. Let's face it. They are going off. However, they're not going to have Pacioretty in here to this game. I think this could end up being a lower scoring game. And I'm going to take Vegas, but I, I could really see Los Angeles. Should I PL Los Angeles here? Spread. 185 for Los Angeles on the PL. They're going to be very unhappy with the last loss that they had. Could be close. Uh, I'm going to take Vegas for unreg for now, but I'll tell you tomorrow I could change my mind. Minnesota versus San Jose. There's no way Minnesota's going to lose two to San Jose, is there? But I'm only taking it money line. Um, should be Kakinen. They should go back to Kakinen here. San Jose. Uh, Dubnik played well. Jones probably go back to Jones. They need wins. Jones is the better goaltender right now. And as far as the total is concerned, I got to go back to over five and a half. They didn't get the over. Yeah, I got to go over on that game. Got to go over. Too much firepower on both sides to not go over on that game. Calgary versus Vancouver. I just don't trust Calgary right now. The problem is Vancouver, like Montreal, is going to be rusty. The thing is... Vancouver being a young team, I'm not sure it's going to matter quite so much. 
They got strong legs. As long as they outwork Calgary, they should win this game with Demko and Net. Markstrom has not been that great, and Calgary is very easy to outwork right now. So I'm going to take Vancouver and the under six. I think it could be a sloppy game with Van sloppy game. And Demko is playing so well, I don't think Calgary is going to be able to score enough on him. So I'm going to go under six. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give today. Thanks again for your subscriptions. I hope you enjoy your bouquets. Why don't we just have a nice big group hug right now? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Okay, bye.